What's up, baseball players? Coach Dan here. Today we're going to talk about my number one rule for pitch calling for any player of any age. So, briefly, I hate coaches calling pitches. I hate it. I hate it so much. There's lots of rationale for it. There, everyone's rationalizing, oh, I called because of the unit. It doesn't matter. Players should be calling their game. That's not the point of this video. But I'm doing this video knowing that probably most of you coaches are calling the game for your players. And I hate that. I just, just, I'm gonna go on record that I hate that. Because the way humans learn is that we do things and then we fail. That's just how we learn. And when someone does it for us, even if they wanna explain it afterwards, which often doesn't happen, even when coaches rationalize that, that is their method, um, it just doesn't go that way. But when I choose a pitch and it gets banged into the gap, I think a little harder about why I chose that pitch. So whatever your reasoning is, it's up to you. But just know that I think that's a, a, a problem in baseball that needs to rapidly change. I don't get it, and I don't like it. But I do want players to understand and learn why they're calling pitches. So my number one rule here for pitch calling is this. As a pitcher, you should always have a reason for the pitch that you chose. And that seems really obvious, and it seems stupid, but it's not. Because let me tell you what, when you watch a bullpen or you are coaching a player, and you say, hey, why did you pick that inside fastball? Or, hey, why did you throw that changeup in that situation? They say, well, I just wanted to mix it up. Or, you know, I, I thought this or that. And it doesn't matter what their reasoning is. We just want to see them have a thought process, have a plan, and have some sort of, you know, whether it was a, they watched the previous swing, they watched the foul ball, or they learned from the, the last at bat. Say the guy pulled a bunch of balls on the line, so they pitched him away this time, or they threw him soft stuff, whatever it was. All those different factors should be coming in, flowing into the pitcher's brain, and then the output should be a slightly more intelligent pitch the next time out, the next at bat, because they thought about what happened prior, they thought about the what they did and the consequences of it, and so they learned and they had a new output. But lots of times pitchers just throw what's put down or they just try to like mix it up. Oh, I threw a couple fastballs, let's throw a change up. That's not a good enough reason. A good enough reason is, well, this hitter's got a kind of like slow bat, so I, I threw him fastball in. Or this hitter was kind of lunging last time, so I threw him a change up again. Or this hitter, I just watched him whiff at a bunch of high fastballs, so I went high. Those are all valid reasons, and those are showing a young pitcher that's working through the game, who's thinking and, and experiencing the game. He's not just mindlessly throwing the ball towards some player that's squatting down there. And that's the problem that I have, and that's the mindset that players get into when coaches are calling the game for them. Because when they just know that I have to throw whatever the pitcher puts down, they start to tune out everything else. And even the coach sits down, which you just don't have time, because I, I was a head coach for multiple years, you don't have time to sit down and say, hey, let's talk through every, every one of your 18 pitches last inning. Why you threw each one of them, and why I called each one of them. That's just unrealistic, it's not gonna happen. And so I know there's only a handful of schools at the D1 level that call pitches. I'm really proud that my alma mater, UMBC, under Coach Bowen, is doing is they're letting their guys call, call their own game um, because they're going to get into pro ball and they're going to call their own game there. But as young pitchers and as youth coaches, as youth parents, this should be something that players are doing on their own. They should be calling the game because the stakes don't matter. If you're 8 years old, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. If you're 14-year-old, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. If you're 13 in the... A, 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 U.S., whatever, World Series, it doesn't matter if you win. It matters a little bit because winning is more fun, but ultimately players experiencing all the different nuances of baseball and all that stuff that is really magical about baseball, those should be left up to the players. Coaches, sub your players in, move them around the field, stack the lineup, give them your best insight, help them understand the game, teach them the game situations, do all that stuff. Let them call their own pitches because, again, if players are going to eventually become really smart and savvy, they've got to see the consequences and rewards of the pitches that they choose based on the reasons that they choose them. So my number one reason that pitchers or my, my number one thing that pitchers should do when calling a game is have a good, tangible reason for every pitch they threw based on the game situation, the hitter and the reactions of everyone on the field based on their previous pitch and the one that they decide to choose, okay? Hopefully this video helped. Also, if you disagree with me, leave me a comment. We can fight about pitch calling, whatever you want. I'm very, uh, as you can probably tell, I'm very passionate about this pitch calling issue. But at the end of the day, I just want young players 
to learn the game and become smart and develop that baseball IQ as early as they can. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.